Computex is among us, and with it comes a ton of stories. Today we've got news on Nvidia's next generation GPUs, are they coming soon or what? Then Intel's Anniversary Edition CPU has been announced, a 28 core Intel CPU, and bad news on the X490 chipset. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Gamer Melt. Before we get started, we made it to 50,000 subscribers. I seriously can't even begin to describe how blown away I still am at this channel's growth. And a very big thank you to everyone who supports and watches the content. Now, unfortunately, I'm not at Computex. I know some of you have been asking, and I would love to have gone. But with me moving soon to two bedroom apartments so I can have a studio, the cost of flying and tickets, etc., just couldn't happen. With that said, I seriously hope to make it next year, and if we can get to 100,000 subscribers, I'll definitely meet the requirements to go as press. So make sure to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to keep up with hardware news. Speaking of Computex, I've got some big stories today. Nvidia's CEO was asked about their next generation GeForce graphics cards during a Q&A at Computex, to which he replied that, um... It's, it's, it's a long time. That's obviously a bummer for those who are waiting, but there's still hope. According to Tweaktown, who is, quote, talking to various industry people, NVIDIA will be launching their next GeForce GTX 1180 graphics card on July 30th. Now, it's good to note that Tweaktown did initially report the launch to be a GTC, which obviously it wasn't, but the outlet seems quite confident this time, with multiple sources confirming less than two months and more than one putting the exact date at July 30th. Plus, it makes perfect sense why NVIDIA wouldn't reveal anything until their launch. So, I can't say either way for sure, it's really up to you as to what you think given the information we have. Next up for today, Intel has officially announced their Anniversary Edition i7-8086K, and it's mostly what was leaked. Basically, it's a souped up 8700K, which makes it Intel's new mainstream flagship. The 6-core 12-thread CPU has 12 megabytes of L3 cache, a TDP of 95 watts, and has slightly less than the original reported 5.1 GHz boost. Instead, it still gets an impressive 5 GHz boost clock on a single core with an all-core boost of 4.4 GHz. It'll be available for purchase on June 8th. As far as price, it hasn't been revealed, but WCCF Tech was told to expect around $399 US. While sticking to Intel, the company also showed off one of their upcoming high-end desktop CPUs, which will be launching at the end of this year. They only showed off one, and while I have no doubt it'll cost more than I made in the last two months, it's an unbelievable achievement. The chip is a 28-core, 56-thread CPU, and was shown off running at an all-core overclock of 5 GHz. Let me say that again. An all-core, 28-core, overclock of 5 gigahertz. Now, I don't know if it was running on liquid nitrogen or was the cause of last week's heat wave, but that is unbelievable. The downside is that if this new story is right, the chip will be running on a new socket. So X299 users will have to purchase a new motherboard. <laughs> With that said, if this is right, it also means boards could offer hexachannel memory support for tons of fast RAM. That's pretty great, well, minus the extra money needed for all those sticks. Clearly, this was a response to AMD's upcoming Threadripper 2000, which is rumored to go all the way up to 24 cores this year. Lastly for today, there's word that the leaked X490 chipset from AMD that I went over not too long ago has been axed. The new chipset was apparently made to make more assignable PCI Express lanes, but the company couldn't source enough of the parts they needed to make it happen, so they were forced to stop production. So while that does it for today, what did you think of the news? Excited for a 28-core Intel CPU? And what do you think about NVIDIA's next-generation graphics cards? Let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for all things gaming hardware. And as always, have a great day.